mom is getting to the point where she can't remember what her anniversary is anymore. She's like, is it the 23rd or 24th? So she always texts me and she's like, when was I married? I was like, it's today, actually. Let's see, I met Cheyenne in public speaking class, which was the first class I ever had at K-State. And uh, I probably got up the guts to talk to her like two months into the course. We both like noticed each other the first day. Oh, yes. And oh, yes. then I gave a speech like towards the middle of the semester about a trip that I went on to Haiti. And so then Micah talked to me after I gave that speech. And I always hoped that he would talk to me again. I don't think he ever talked to me again in class. Maybe the day of our final, I think he said something to me. Oh, dear. And then I uh, didn't really like hang out or anything until probably two no, about a year later, and then we saw each other at a date party and started kind of talking again, but we had separate dates, so we weren't like actually together. And so I texted my date and said, hey, do you know Micah Bauma? We should hang out with him and his date. Oh so I pulled some strings. <laughs> I proposed while we were celebrating our Christmas in Manhattan. We gave each other our gifts and gave each other letters and then I got down in front of the tree, Christmas tree, and proposed to her there. Um, but pretty much our entire childhood, I grew up trying to protect Cheyenne and make for tougher and get her ready for the real world, which always turned out to be a lot harder than I ever thought it could be. Um, but no, I've always really admired how sweet and kind Cheyenne is, and um, she's a little bit sensitive at times, which really isn't that big of a problem, except for that whenever somebody hurt her feelings, I always felt the need to have to then hurt them. <laughs> um, <laughs> As some of you may know and have gruesomely witnessed, Micah shamelessly wears shorts of the name brand Chubbies. <laughs> These Chubbies make Tom Selleck's short from the TV show Magnum P.I. look like long basketball shorts. <laughs> Chubbies are basically front and back booty shorts for guys. <laughs> He would wear these to work while building our Aunt Mary's house in Michigan, to church occasionally, and pretty much any other social occasion that would demand clothing as a bare minimum. <laughs> As we got older, we started our journey together at K-State, and I was really proud to see um, just her grow as a person and in her faith, and um, she really knew that she deserved somebody that loved her, and more importantly, loved God. <laughs> One of the biggest and my favorite is Micah's heart. Throughout our lives, I've seen Micah befriend those who have no friends, defend those who are weak, and stand up for what is right, all without any regard for what other people think of him. His strength of character, defense of the weaker person, and devotion to do what is right, even at his own expense, is my favorite 
quality by far. And that's about the time Michael came along. And I did not find out they were dating from Cheyenne. That was my mom. <laughs> But then Cheyenne did text me out of the blue and asked me if I wanted to get dinner with her and Micah, which was very unusual, and instantly I could tell they were a match made in heaven. And I actually left that dinner feeling like, wow, I think I actually just met somebody that can take care of Cheyenne. I can't. This ring is a symbol of my love for you. This ring is a symbol of my love for you. I give it to you to wear in joy. I give it to you to wear in joy. With this ring, I be led. With this ring, I be led. As much as Micah and Cheyenne have consented together to join their hearts in marriage and have signified it by the ceremony we celebrate today, I hereby pronounce them husband and wife by the power vested in me by the state and the church and in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Micah, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Cheyenne, take care of our boy. Make sure he doesn't get arrested. Uh, keep him sane. Um, we know you can do it. Um, we love you, Micah. Love you, Micah. Love you, Micah. Love you, Micah. Hi, Micah and Cheyenne. I, I'm going to try to do this without crying. So, um, Micah, Cheyenne is so precious to me. So please take good care of her. And um, we're looking forward to your future and all that God's gonna do in your life. When you get old and married, you think about us and how much we laughed and carried on. And old and married. Old and married. Well, they'll be married and they'll be old. They'll be married old. <laughs> Love you, Cheyenne and Micah. <laughs> <laughs> we 
we love you and I don't really have any advice but uh, I think you'll be okay I really do love you <laughs>